friends, it is me, Mike Harmon, and I am in my tech lab on a Saturday getting ready to record the Mod Tech Minute for you. I had a week where we had two snow days, so there wasn't a lot that I could show you in class from the group because we just didn't get to do much. But uh, I would like to show you one of my cool activities that I got with a grant, and it is the Oculus Rift. Now, you might correctly ask, how in the world did you get an Oculus Rift in a classroom? Well, I'm here to tell you that it was with a grant, and that grant was called Virtual Clay. And the idea behind this is we use Medium, which is a 3D creation app that you're in the headset and you've got a chunk of virtual clay that you can manipulate using the awesome controllers that come uh, with the Oculus Rift touch and in medium is one of the software tools that come that is standard with the touch controllers uh, these are amazing uh, it only takes a few minutes for you to be up and creating amazing things I have got a couple of little pieces that I'm gonna stitch in here so you can see it in action and then I'll also stitch in some other cool things I found out after I bought it for instance there's an ISS, International Space Station, simulation. I already had a space exploration module where we made our own cool straw rockets and water rockets. Using the ISS, students get to actually explore the International Space Station, which is amazing. On top of that, it has a Google Earth plug-in. We use the Google Earth plug-in to explore amazing three-dimensional places like canyons that the students in the classroom will never get to visit, other countries, ruins in Greece. It is amazing how realistic it can be and where you can travel in no time at all. There's also the super cool Google Blocks, which is another 3D design program which makes items that can be 3D printed. Um, all in all, it was an epic grant. Uh, anytime you write a grant and you think you're going to have one use for it and you end up having three, uh, that's the way life should be. So sit back, relax, check out the cool things I'm going to show you with the Oculus Rift and maybe you too can add one to your STEM classroom. Here's a quick look at First Contact. And then when First Contact opens, there is a little robot and they show you a little blue thing that you push down to wake up the cool little robot. The robot's been asleep for a while, so you startle him, he flies away, and just like any creature you believe is going to be friendly, when he pops back out, wave to him. Wave another time and he gets a little more friendly, one more time and he'll come to you, and then he starts to share the experience with you. This world is totally interactive, so when he gives you stuff, you can take it. Notice he pointed where it went, and it goes in the player. The rest of this you can watch happen. You can watch it unfold. You can also just pick things up and try them out. Everything you grab has things you can touch. You can throw the cans. Make sure you don't throw your controller. At this point, if you don't have the controller strapped onto your wrist, you should. Notice everything you touch has something that it can do. So I'm not going to tell you any more. I'm just going to tell you to explore and then in the end, be able to tell me as many things as you can about what you experienced. When you reach the end of the program, it'll turn bright white and move on. If you need to quit, you can take off the mask or use the Oculus button on the right controller. Take note, I've probably done this 10 times and every time I still find something new. So make sure you explore thoroughly and see if you can find the coolest thing that I haven't found yet. All right, friends, so you can see here from the library, we are gonna launch Google Earth. I'd like it to be maximized, so I'm going to hit that window. And let's wait for the world to show up. I've got my hands in front of me, so this should work. It says Building Earth, and there's a button on the front trigger that it says for me to hit Start. There we go. We are in Google Earth. So when you look out at your hands, 
you can see the places you're pointing at. It tells you what you're shooting at. Right now I'm over Lynn County, Oregon. It could be different a different day. I'm gonna hit the menu. And what's cool about the menu is they show you places you can pick from. And I'm using the right trigger or the right toggle switch to pick one. I'm gonna take a look at Horseshoe Cannon, Canyon. And when I click on that, I can just click the trigger with my left hand and go to it. Now when you look down at your hands, you can see all the options. Uh, I can tilt the earth up if I wanted, but it's much cooler this way. And the most fun thing is to take the joystick and fly. Whichever way you turn your head, that's the way you go. And then you can tilt and adjust and just fly all around and check out the cool canyon. You can use your left hand to grab and rotate the world. So you can look at it from different sides, giving it a little bit of time to render. You can drag the world by pulling the trigger on the left hand. So I'm going to drag some up on the top of the cliff. If you want to back out, the menu button is on the uh, right controller. And then you can pick a new place to check out. I'm going to go to Belgium. Once again, joystick helps me fly around. I'm going to rotate, see what it looks like from a different side. Giving it a little bit of time to draw as I check out the different things. The more you explore, the happier I am. I want you to be able to tell us about the things that you see. Notice I can turn my whole head 360 degrees. And if I wanted to turn this far, I wouldn't have found this sweet water park. Oh my gosh, is that a lazy river? Or is it a huge putt-putt course? I don't know what that is. Mini Europe. I'm going to back out one more time to the menu. And I'm going to show you that you've also, here are the featured. We can also choose tours, where it'll take you to special places, like the Welcome. You can go to special cities. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nature, and then also we can save things. I'm going to go back to cities, and I'm going to finish your training or your warm-up for how to do this by visiting this awesome castle. Holy cow. I can drag the world down so I can get a better look at it. I'm going to do rotate so I can look around it. And then I'm going to fly past it. That is just awesome. So there you are. When you are done, uh, your job is going to be to create a post telling about the things that you visited. So make sure you have at least three things you found interesting that you can add to a post in Google Classroom and share with everybody else that eventually does the virtual reality module. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. And I hope you learned a couple things as well. All right, so we've got Janice here. And she is in space exploration. And right now she is using our Oculus Rift to travel through the International Space Station and right now she has just pushed off a wall so that allows her to float and then eventually she's going to learn that with her hands using the touch controllers she can grab and pull herself along the different uh, walls. How do I pull myself? You've got, oh you just grabbed your little tablet that shows you your location uh, so you'll want to cancel out of that and then you want to look for the bar I think there's a bar right in front of you and if you grab that, it'll let you move. Uh, it's a little further out um, towards that hatch. Though there's the bar on the wall. See that bar on the wall? Yep, out there a little further. Here you can see she has grabbed onto the bar and she's starting to pull herself through the space station. You're doing an awesome job. This is a great tutorial. 
here we've got Tiana in the same module, and you can see that she is grabbing and moving through. It is so crazy. What we see on this screen is exactly what she's seen in her head. Right now she just picked up a loose package, which would be dangerous, and she's placing it where it's supposed to be. If you guys ever get a chance to experience the Rift and the International Space Station, I guarantee you're going to dig it. We are in the virtual reality module, and right now, Ava is doing the Google Earth virtual reality. Where are you right now, Ava? Uh, I'm on the dark side of the world. <laughs> Where are you trying to get? Um, to the United States. Okay. I'm, I'm actually saying it on this earth, so if I like jump, I'd be. Oh, it's possible. People in my science class, they can shut up. Oh. I just found my thing. Where'd it go? I don't know. Where are you now? I'm like on Mars. Okay, too bad, but. Okay, ready? Okay, there it is. The United States? Ooh! Whoa, stop it. <laughs> so that is the virtual reality module, a little sneak peek in There's it. There's Oklahoma. <laughs> this is Serenity, and she is using the Oculus Rift, and she is in a program called In Medium. And she is sculpting with the headset, making an awesome uh, beach scene, it looks like. There are coconuts. You can see her, she's switching the palettes and the colors, and this is how you aim at one hand, and then you can switch and draw and notice what's up in her world is also up in that world. Well done, Serenity. Thank you for checking out another episode of the Mod Tech Minute. Looking forward to having you back next week, and maybe we'll be able to show you more cool things that the students are doing in my amazing STEM classroom. Well, I guess I do have one more thing I can show you. Demonstration. I'm going to show you the Spider-Man Homecoming again. I do need to take off the glasses. I've got my controllers close. I like to open Oculus Home to the library so I can launch it. And here comes Spider-Man. Make sure you've got your ear holes adjusted. When you come to the world, you've got a briefcase. And if you just put your hand down by it, it'll open the briefcase for you. Nice Spider-Man hat, a mask. This suit is designed to fit your specific dimensions exactly. Please review the fit and finish in the reflective surface nearby. Would you like to continue appreciating yourself or shall we move on? <laughs> Let's move on. Mom, aren't you attractive? We must calibrate your web functions. Initiating your new web shooters. Initiating rapid fire web burst mode. Hold your web shooter to shoot web bullets to do it. Try hitting that bottle. This is pretty cool. Uh, you can see the bottles are all over the place. They've got red things to let you see where they're at. There are also extra bottles and plants you can hit just for fun. Good stuff. 13 of 15 bottles. I'm missing one more. There it is. Rapid fire shooter. Calibrated. If you look at your wrist, you can see which one you're using. Rapid fire has the three the little icons. Good for you. <laughs> Great C. Initiating web grenade. Web grenade. Charge grenade mode. Boom. Hold the button to charge your grenade. Boom. Start removing the large debris over here. Web grenade calibrated. Wow. Tremendous demonstration of attempt. Blowing Initiated up whole reels. Web sling. Web, mode. web slings, Press you get to grab, to launch into next web sling to pull launch. away, tons of fun. Try removing the posters from that wall over there. And as a bonus, 
<laughs> he can grab other stuff. Exactly. Great job. Holy Initiate moly. Web net mode. Press and let go of the web shooter. Alright, I'm not gonna show you everything. But I am gonna tell you it's really fun. And you really ought to get a chance to experience this. Web net calibrated. That's not half bad. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please like, follow, and subscribe.